Dr. Katan, let's talk about acne. Um, acne and acne scars, because once an acne becomes, uh, turns into scars, I hear it is an awful mess, and uh, it's just not that easy to get rid of anymore. So can you shed some light on it, please? Yes, uh, sure. Uh, our goal is to avoid the scars, and because of that, I normally advise the patient who come to me, look, I'm not going to be able to cure your acne. Nobody's going to be able to cure your acne. Uh, the best we can do is to help you get your acne under control. You're going to look good. Uh, you're going to still have breakouts. This is something that has to do with hormone changes and stress. If it's a lady, it could be, you know, aggravated menstruation. You have your cycle. It's going to get worse. So you're going to have to try to deal with it and keep it under control. So you look good. You don't get scars. Um, people come in. We give them injections. We give them creams. We clean the face. Uh, we have uh, treatments like, such as market demobration that would help them. Uh, we do chemical peel at times. That would also help the acne. Uh, if it's getting um, to be more involved, we, we give them oral antibiotic uh, to take um, that is specific for acne treatment. And that, that usually we tell them it's going to take four to eight weeks to, to take effect. If people come and ask us for a magic bullet. They want a pill. They want to get rid of the acne. They want it now. So we tell them, look, even if we give you the pill now, it's going to take anywhere between four to eight weeks on the average to start working. So, you, you know, you have to be realistic about it. We tell them, look, we, we go stepwise. We give you the treatment. And we have options. If you get to the point that you're not responding to any of these treatment, we have what you know as the magic uh, of a miracle drug, which is Accutane, it really is very effective. It does have side effects. Um, and we do monitor the patients. We monitor them very closely. We do the blood tests once a month at least. And uh, check, check, make sure everything is okay with them. It's, it's a really good, good medicine, but it has to be used properly for the right person. Uh, it's, it's excellent for people who have big cysts who are at risk of getting scars. So that's where the intervention comes to, to help them to prevent that. Now, if all said and done, patient comes to us already with the scars, then we tell them, look, yes, we are able to do things to help you. We cannot perform any miracles, but we can definitely help you to improve your look. Uh, most of the time, the laser would be the best treatment for the scars. Sometimes uh, some of the scars can be cut out and stitched and then this way they get a smooth surface and if you have to we go after afterwards you go over it with, with the laser and make it even better. So there are things to be done. Uh, there's always hope and uh, we are very privileged to be living uh, at a time that we have all this technology at our disposal to help people. Mm. So if people have uh, had uh, acne scars um, or acne basically and it starts developing into acne scars, um, would it be wise for them to get to a dermatologist like you as soon as possible? Meaning is the scars uh, easy to repair earlier on or later on? Um, I, I, I in general, it's easier to do things early on, to take care of things early on. But even if they're old, we can still help the patients. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's good. So tell me one more thing. Uh, a young 15, 16-year-old um, teenager, um, whatever, gets acne. Um, and I assume uh, uh, adults uh, do have acne also sometimes, right? Sure, yes. You have ladies in their 30s and 40s uh, who get uh, acne. It's not mm -hmm. unusual. Right. So, a person has acne, he develops it, and he starts realizing what's going on. Um, on an average, you know, the creams available over the counter, um, are they doing the trick, or is it really better to go and get full treatment by a professional? Well, those over-the-counter medications are mostly effective for very mild cases. And uh, 
really, if you want to get the, the right treatment, you need to get a professional, somebody who's uh, trained and one who understands how to, to, to deal with this problem. I mean, there are a bunch of different over-the-counter uh, medications available now. There are face washes, there are creams, there are soaps, um, and uh, people come on, ask about it, and we tell them, look, it could help very mild cases, but, you know, if you have a little more than that, you should be seen. And it's one common question people ask is about washing. And we, we tell them if you wash too much, it's not good really. It dries your face, it can make your acne worse. So when it comes to washing, you know, you have to, to be in moderation. If you're very oily, you have a special face wash and mud mask and things like that that, that can improve you with sodas. So does the market immigration. It cuts down on the oil or chemical peel and um, that would, you know, help, help acne. Right, wonderful. Okay, well again, appreciate your information. It is very informative. Um, people listening to it, I'm sure, will you know, kind of like realize that there is help, and yet um, it's not a, it's not a miracle saying we need to do and work and get involved in it and do something. So the idea is uh, get to a professional as fast as possible because that's how it is easier to prevent, to work, and to not make so severe. Yes, good.